The first season of Dancing with the Stars debuted on ABC on June 1, 2005. The premiere drew over 13 million viewers, the second biggest summer debut ever for an American reality series after Survivor. The second week, they would climb up to 13 to 15 million viewers, and the show climbed to number one in the summer 2005 TV season ratings, where it remained for the remainder of the season. For thus, Dancing with the Stars was born. So let's get into it. In this video, we're going to be talking about Kelly Monaco's Dancing with the Stars journey. Kelly Monaco was better known as playing Sam McCall in General Hospital and was the Playboy Playmate of the Month on April 1997. She would be partnered with Alec Mazzo and they would end up being the first champions of Dancing with the Stars. But it didn't start off really well. When they first got onto the dance floor, they would get off to a slow start. Dancing the Waltz, Kelly Monaco and her partner Alec Mazzo. Her partner, Alec Marzo. Despite those low scores that she received the first two weeks, she would eventually improve week by week. In week three, they would do the drive to Footloose by Kenny Loggins, where they received a total of 21, which means they got 1-6, 1-7, and 1-8. In week four, they would do the Samba as she would come out of the hole as an underdog to a front runner. 
By week five, they would do two dances, while each couple will do the foxtrot first, and they would do the pasta doble next. Since they had three couples left, which means all three of them made the semifinals, with Joey McIntyre finishing third. Dancing the Jive, Kelly Monaco and her partner, Alec Marzo. I see a smile from Carrie Ann. We'll save you for last. All right, Len. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, one of the problems with the samba is there's so many different rhythms, and that's why all the couples have struggled. Right. These four couples are working for next week, the semi-final. Yep. And these two are the first two that I've really seen an up in their performance. All right. Bruno. Definitely the most improved competitor. You've proven to be a, a great competitor, and tonight you are a right hot little chili on the All right. <laughs> and carry on. Way to go, guys! Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> I don't know. If I, I'm more excited for you or just to see you can smile and clap. That was fantastic. <laughs> nice cover of the wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, Excellent. very nice. Yeah. Here you do. Will the judges please reveal their scores? Carrie Ann Inabe. Nine. Len Goodman. Nine. Bruno Tognoli. Eight. <laughs> 
It's amazing. I, uh, we are working so hard, and I worked hardest this week than any week that not I was working hard at all, but yeah. I mean, I really put in the hours, so it's, it's nice to see that it's paying off. Dancing the Foxtrot, Kelly Monaco and her partner, Alec Marzo. <laughs> and her partner, Alec Marzo. Ese amor llega así, de esta manera, no tiene la culpa. La barra de esa mamá, porque muy despreciado por eso, no te perdón de llorar. So it all comes down to this, the finals. They would do one dance, and then they would do the freestyle dance, and then during the freestyle dance, they would end up getting the first ever perfect score. After that, they did something called the dance-off, which they would do it with John and Charlotta. John and Charlotta won that one. Now, I'm not going to show the winner first, because I want to get to the dances first, and then I'll show you guys the winner clip. Dancing the Samba, Kelly Monaco and her partner, Alec Marzo. Anymore. 
Dancing Freestyle, Kelly Monaco and her partner, Alec Marzo. Judges, please reveal their scores. Carrie Ann Inabe. Ten. Len Goodman. Ten. Bruno Tognoli. Ten. We have three tens. We've never had one ten in this competition. Tell me, what what are you feeling? I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to cry right now. It feels great. I mean, we work so hard and. That just says it all, you know? Dancing the cha-cha-cha, Kelly Monaco and her partner, Alec Marzo.
Dancing the Quick Step, Kelly Monaco and her partner Alec Marzo. A kiss on the hand, baby, quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friends. A kiss, baby, grand, but it won't pay the riddle on your humble flat, or help you at the auto mat. Men grow cold, this girls grow, and we all lose our charms in the end. But square hat or fair shape, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best friends. Tiffany's. Cartier. Freestyle, Kelly Monaco and her partner Alec Marzo. I can now reveal the champions of Dancing with the Stars. Kelly and Alex! After a struggling first two weeks, Kelly Monaco and Alex Mazzo would become the first ever winners of Dancing with the Stars. So Kelly Monaco's Dancing with the Stars stats are this. Eight dances, 179 points, an average score of 22.4, and had one perfect score. And after that, Alec would not return the next two seasons. He would eventually return during season four and five, where he would be eliminated first twice in a row and then would rejoin Season 7 and Season 9 being his last, which meant he could not even redeem his title and would not have the same success since he had during the first season. I guess it's safe to say that his Dancing with Stars career is officially over. Kelly Monica would then return to the All-Star season of the show, being partnered with Val Shamirakoski, and would end up finishing third. And 
She would also come back in the 25th season of Dance with Stars doing a trio dance with Terrell Owens and Cheryl Burke. I know she got onto this with no prior dance experience and wanted to get out of her comfort zone at first. She struggled at first, but towards the end, they will be forever be remembered as the first champions ever on Dancing with the Stars. And that'll do it for this video. Like, subscribe, comment down below for any suggestions you want me to do. And I also want to wish everybody out there a happy Memorial Day. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eric Sharkey. Catch you next time.